Tom, thank you so much for being here today. We love having you at the agency. Mutual. Um, what do you think about our case showcase? What is your opinion? Well, I think showcase is just, let's start with showcases in general and let's move to yours specifically. Uh, showcases in general are one of the rare places you can meet a lot of agents. Um, it's very hard to get in to see an agent in LA. I mean, they are flooded with pictures every day, people trying to get in to see them. The advantage of having the showcase here is they're coming from out of town. So they're not worried at their office, they're not answering phones at their office, they're up here, they're you know, a few hours away from their business. Uh, they have camaraderie with the other agents here because they all kind of know each other. And I happen to know the agents you have come in. Uh, some of them are very good friends of mine. And you have one of the top agents come in. You have really, really good agents. So first of all, you train the people well, and I think that's extremely important. You have great people come in, and for the money, there's no other way they could meet the type of agents they meet except through your showcase. So I think you, you do a great job in putting it together and a great service to the industry. And the only reason the agents that you have continue to come back is because they like your talent and they think they're well-trained. Believe me, I can tell you as a director, if I went to see some showcases in the act and it was horrible the first or second time, I'm not coming back, it's a waste of my time. And the only way they make money is if the actors make money, because they don't take the agents you work with are legit agents, they don't take money up front for representation. That's different than taking money for teaching classes or development or whatever, but I'm talking about it as, as an agent. They're making their money off a percentage of what the actors make. And so if they don't think the acting's any good, why would they want to take the clients on and keep coming here and wasting their time? So I think the quality of what, what you do and the quality of the people you bring in is what makes it so special. Of course, thank you. And obviously as a director, you would want actors when they perform in front of you to have prior experience before doing any audition for you. Why do you recommend Well, in, that? in any profession, um, it's amazing to me that people think they can act naturally in front of a camera, but what if I, if you had to have your appendix out and I said, you know, I cut a turkey really, really well, I'm real good with a knife. I've never actually done surgery, but I'm real good with cutting. That would be the same as saying, I've never acted before, but I act every day. I hear that all the time, but I act every day. Yeah, but can you act in front of a camera when we're spending millions of dollars a minute on you and can you deliver lines when I have a crew of 400 people here and can, can you take direction if I said give me a TV turn to the left 180 degrees make it clean let's do it symmetrical when we set the shot up do you understand even what I'm talking about um, it's interesting that major stars take acting classes between every film that they do in fact when I direct a film they bring, a lot of the stars bring their acting coaches onto the set. I know, because we have to pay for it. That's in their negotiation. I want my acting teacher on the set. Here's what I want my acting teacher. And I mean, these are Academy Award winning major stars. Well, Tom, why would an Academy Award winning? Because the people who are the best at what they do continue practicing what they do. When the Olympics are over, and these are the best gymnasts and swimmers and everything in the world, these are the best immediately when that Olympics is over within a week or two, they are back on the ice practicing with their coach for the next four years. You notice that the greatest tennis players, when you're watching Wimbledon or something, they're always cutting to their coaches sitting in the, mm -hmm. so people who are really good at they do, really continue to study. And if you ever wanna meet stars, I can tell you where to meet them, I can tell anybody where. Find out where acting classes are being held in LA and stand outside and watch all the people come out. And you'll recognize some faces because the people who are good at what they do are still studying their craft. And by the way, as a director, I've been directing for 40 years. Every time I direct something, I walk away with something I didn't know before. I've learned something. And when a director speaks at the Directors Guild of America, even though they've been directing less time than me, I'm going to go listen to them speak because I'm learning from that. And the moment you quit learning is the time to get out of the business. Okay. Just like a doctor continues to study new medicines that come out. An attorney st uh, studies new case law. A, a, a uh, Airline pilots every six months, although, although they've been flying that 737 for 40 years, have to go in front of the FAA and show that they can still fly that airplane and go through check airmen, they call it, and do all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So acting to me is kind of the only profession where people think they don't have to study or do anything. And that's a huge mistake. So that's the importance. And, and I take, uh, when people come in and I look at their, their credits, I take their acting uh, 
class is very serious. Absolutely. Now, Tom, you've been in the industry for a very long time. You said for more than four years. Now, as a professional director, obviously, you know, a lot of agents, managers are very, they have very good representation in the industry. Right. Now, what do you think about K-Agency being in the Central Valley area and being licensed and bonded? What, what is your thought about that? Well, I think, unless I'm mistaken, I think you're probably the only licensed and, and bonded uh, in the whole Central Valley, number one. Number two, you have a great reputation in L.A., and that's very rare that someone so far out of town has such a great reputation. I mean... The business is so Hollywood-centered in general. Like, for instance, if an actor comes from Orange County, they think, oh, my God, they're way down in Orange County. So the fact that you've garnered the reputation that you have, have the actors that you have, and can get the agents to come up here that you have, shows that you have some kind of a, re a reputation, and a good one, uh, in this, not only just in the Central Valley, but in Hollywood and L.A. where, where most of the jobs are cast. So the fact that, you know, I was here... From your people all the time, I got cast in this, I got cast in that. And that's just amazing to me that this far away from the industry, you can get them into these jobs. So I think very highly of the agency. And the only reason I come here and teach, because there are other places in this California area that asked me to come that I won't come for because I don't believe in what they do. Yeah, and come